Hi there, my name is Steve MacDonald. I'm the Superintendent Radiographer at the Accidents and Emergency Department at the Royal Liverpool University Hospital in England. We've done a poster this year on DR in the ER. It's a bit of a catchy title, but what we're trying to get across is the importance of digital radiography in the Accidents and Emergency Department. Now, it's always been a well thought problem with DR that it shouldn't be used in the accident and emergency scenario. It's never been thought of to be um, a modality that lends itself towards lots and lots of different examinations. However, in the two years that we've had it, we've dreamed up lots and lots of different ways to utilise this system and we've actually found that this is a system that works very, very well in the accident department. One of the biggest, biggest problems that we came across in the first instance was probably to do with lateral elbows. You've got a patient that comes on in and we don't know whether they've got a dislocated elbow or whether they've got a, a something quite simple like a radial head fracture. The patient comes in, they're always very, very wary of keeping that arm close into them. In the olden days when we used to have CR or even before that with analogue, we used to be able to shove a cassette up underneath that arm and get some sort of an image. With DR, everyone thought that the really, really big detectors wouldn't be able to cope with that. The beauty of this system is that we can put a double angulation onto that detector, bring the tube so it follows that angulation, the patient is in a real comfortable position, and we can get an image on a really nasty dislocated elbow that we can see just up here. Once we've seen what we're up against, we can then converse with that patient and decide what we're going to do. Do we need to alter the angle of the detector, the angle of the tube, or can we just simply let the arm rest down, do a side step, and get a good AP? The next problem set of patients are we all strive, we know, to try and get a good, decent PA chest x ray. Unfortunately, we have a huge population in our area that suffer very badly with strokes. They're the sort of patients that will come round and the last thing you want to do is try and sit them up where they fall to the floor. We had to decide how we were going to do with these. Historically the same again, what we would have done is we'd had a couple of radiographers easing the patient forwards, manhandling them forwards, ramming the plate down behind the back. Once that patient's in place, we'd lean the patient back against it and do a conventional image. However, with the advent of this sort of DR equipment, we can extend the detector so it gives us a metre coverage from the front of the detector to the back of it. It's then really quite easy to slide the bed underneath the detector, ease the patient forwards, lean them back onto that detector and use it quite simply as a, as a film in all, intent, all intents and purposes. However, the big difference is we're now using a, an AEC, we're using a grid, we're doing it with a high KV and we're getting the best quality of images on these very, very difficult patients. We're getting the image up within four seconds to see that preview image. And what we're not doing is we're never ever leaving that patient on, the low, on their own in that department. One really, really big fact that we've come in with this as well is, within our A&E department, we're very, very close to all our doctors. If we have a patient that's quite seriously ill or we've got someone with an unstable neck, we then use the doctor to come around from A&E to make a decision whether that patient will be pat slided across. They've got control of the patient all the time. We've got very, very quick images. And now what we're doing is we're getting the patient to have the neck cleared in an A&E environment within the radiology department rather than going back around to A&E, being tied down for some length of time, causing all kinds of disproportionate amounts of time to tie down when in an ideal situation you can have that done straight away. The very, very last thing that I want to try and get across is that because this system is so quick, you have the time set aside to deal with that patient. So instead of spending your time processing images and working your way through that, you're now buying back quality time for that patient where you can sit and listen to the patient, decide what's going to suit them best to get the best quality images. And basically, DR very, very definitely has a place in the ER back home in the Accident and Emergency Department.